Welcome to the Stuff I Love Black Owned Business Edition. Staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. All right, so you know first up has to be this sweatshirt that I wear literally all the time. I am 100% sure, especially if you follow me on Instagram, that you have seen me wearing this sweatshirt multiple, multiple times. Um, it is super cute. Okay, so first of all, it says wonderfully complex. This sweatshirt is from From Water to Wine, and I will pop up some info about her on the screen here. Um, she is a beautiful sister in Christ, but she's also a, she's got a whole ministry, events, uh, shop, all kinds of stuff. So definitely, definitely check her out. Um, but this really is one of my favorite sweatshirts. So it is a beautiful color, first of all. It's like a blush kind of dusty rose pink color. Um, so it kind of goes with everything. I just love it. It's super comfortable. So on the inside, it is a super soft brushed fleece. And you are seeing this sweatshirt that I've worn and washed multiple times and you can tell that is still in amazing condition. Um, and then I think the thing that I love about it um, also is that it is embroidered. So it is very, very, very um, high quality. So it's not printed, it's actually embroidered and it's kind of an ivory color um, embroidery, which I think goes really well with the blush pink. It's not kind of bright white, so it's like a harsh contrast, if that makes sense. Um, so first, of course, I just love it because of the quality, but I also love it because of what it says. So it says wonderfully complex. And for me, those two words very simply mean a lot. So for me personally, when I wear this, it's a reminder that I am beautifully and wonderfully made, but that I'm also complex. I am not a simple person. You can't really put me in a box. I enjoy all kinds of things that people probably would be surprised at. Um, I usually don't live up to people's assumptions about me when they see me versus when they get to know me. Um, I'm just a complex person and I think that we all have our own complexities because we are all beautifully and individually and wonderfully made. And so I love wearing the sweatshirt um, and I love if people ask me what does that mean um, that I can actually have that conversation and encourage them about how beautifully and wonderfully we are each individually made even in our complexities and it also reminds me, me when I wear it to show grace to others because other people are super complex but still wonderfully made too. So this is definitely something I love and I wanted to share it with you. All right, another company I wanted to shout out is definitely Posh Candle Company. So this is a candle that I actually was able to get custom made from Posh Candle Company um, for a loved and blessed box of encouragement. I will pop a picture of the box up here, um, but this candle is hand poured. The design of the labels is awesome because I think that it makes you all of her designs all all put some pictures of some of her candles up here. Um, all of her designs are, uh, make me smile when I read the names of them. And the best part is the candle smells amazing. Unfortunately, uh, there's no smell of vision but if y'all could smell this, this one is lavender, um, and actually it's peppermint, eucalyptus, and lavender. It is amazing. Um, this candle is actually a tiny size, if you can tell from my hands. I think this is four ounces. Again, this was special made for Loved and Blessed, um, so you can't get this four ounce candle, but you can get her other candles that are in the full size from her website. So definitely, definitely check out Posh Candle Company. This is another thing that I love. I love to light these. Honestly, when I am doing my Bible study or quiet time in the morning, because it's just very peaceful. It's a very peaceful candle. And if you follow me on Instagram or if you're part of the Loved and Blessed Ladies community, y'all know that my little fur child, Asher, is very active and cray cray. But when I light this candle, both of us are calm. So again, something I love. Definitely, definitely, definitely check out Posh Candle Company and you can see all of the different candles and scents that she has to offer. All right, so another company that you have heard me shout out before in my um, journals that I love video um, is actually Be Rooted. So I love these journals. Um, I just love the sentiment that is on them. Hopefully you can read that. Um, but it says, guard your spirit. And then this one that I haven't even opened yet says, trust the journey. Um, and I just love these. I am very appreciative as a 
black woman who didn't grow up being able to kind of go to a store and buy something that looked like it represented me um i am really appreciative of being able to actually have more opportunities to go into a store and buy a journal that has a black person on it um it's a little thing probably to other people um but for people of color i'm sure you can identify with this you know being able to buy something that represents you is really important um i remember having a conversation with a friend of mine who gave me a birthday card with a black woman on the car on the front of the card and i was so touched by that and they were kind of shocked and i said no you don't understand in my you know i don't even remember what birthday that was but however many years i had been on the earth i was an adult um i had never had someone who was not a person of color give me a card that actually had a person of color on it i had been used to getting you know birthday cards which i appreciated um that tended to have white people on them and again it doesn't mean that the card was any less um thoughtful but it's just those little things that this person actually made an effort to go pick out a card specifically that would resonate with me that just made me feel really good um and so i'm sure you guys can identify with that in different ways depending on your own um, personal background but i love these journals not only for the quality um the journal quality is really good i love the paper quality in here i love that they're spiral and these are kind of a um smaller size i'm not sure i think maybe they're five by five point five uh, by eight point five um, spiral notebook 120 line sheets so um, you can get these journals I believe also from the Be Rooted um, website which I will definitely link um, down below and then you can also support and get these from Target and other retailers so um, yeah every time that they come out with a new design I always grab it um, as you can tell even when I haven't finished using one um, I grab another one because I just love these and they're nice and small and can fit in my bag really easily so definitely, definitely check out and support Be Rooted. And while we are on the topic of journals, another company that I love, because y'all know I'm paper and pen obsessed, um, but is Spoonful of Faith. Um, their journals, again, I love that they are um, very uplifting um, and just the imagery just makes me smile. So I love this one, um, which I've had for a while. This design came out a few years ago. Um, yeah, this one is a 2020 design, I think. Um, so I'm not sure if it's still available. This one is a little bit more recent. This is 2021. Um, but they have ones that have come out this year. But I just, these are two of my favorites from Spoonful of Faith um, as far as the artwork goes. I love this one just because of the diversity of the women on it. Um, and again, for me, I just love being able to see that diversity of you know every ethnicity hair type everything on here and so i just really love this journal it's very i don't know encouraging every time i go to grab for it and because my life revolves around encouraging women i like this one as a, a reminder to be able to use and then i just love this one as well this one i haven't actually even started using this even though i've had it for a few years now because i like to have very specific purposes for when i start a new journal um so i'm saving this one for a specific purpose but um, I love this one, first of all, because all of the ladies' eyes are closed. Now, I don't know the reasoning behind why she designed this design this way. I'm sure for her as an artist, there was a specific reason. Um, but there's something about looking at this image where the ladies, all of their eyes are closed, almost as though they are dreaming, praying, um, just having a moment of reflection to themselves. Um, and I know that I'm probably reading a whole lot into this. I have no idea, like I said, uh, what the designer's um, inspiration was for this, but it inspired me when I saw it to pick it up. And so I definitely wanted to um, tell y'all about it. And these are the kind, this is a, um, a book bound journal. They do have um, ribbons in them. So that's like a nice little satin ribbon, which I love for page marking. And it has the design where it's got the months and the days at the top so that you can easily date it um, for whatever day you're writing in it. So again, this one I am holding on to. I haven't used it yet. This one definitely has some a, a lot of use in it. Uh, there's writing all in it. Um, but I love these journals almost to the point where like when they're done, I don't throw them away. Um, yeah, I have journals over here that I've used, but I also have 
journals all over my office that are just full of things. I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these afterwards. Like I said, I'm definitely a paper, paper and pen kind of girl, um, but definitely wanted to encourage you to check out Spoonful of Faith. They have even more, more than journals. Um, and if you're familiar with this artwork, you will have probably seen it on other things like the, um, <clears throat> the Happy Planner. I think that's what it's called, 365 Happy Planner. Y'all know what I'm talking about, big planner. Uh, uh, comment below if you know what the brand is that I'm talking about. Um, but I'm so excited to see artists like this have their artwork um, being featured for on other products. Because um, again, it's just, it makes me smile um, to see more inclusive artwork, um, not only of women of color, but just all different types of women in general. So definitely check out A Spoonful of Faith. All right, and last but not least, in this black owned business Black History Month edition of Stuff I Love. I definitely wanted to unbox with y'all something that I just got. Um, now this thing is huge so I don't know if I'm even gonna be able to get it all on camera. I might pop up some pictures um, on camera or on screen so you can actually see what it looks like. Um, but I was really really excited about this product for a number of reasons. So let me actually show you what I got. Um, so, it came in this humongous bag. Um, let's open it up together. Sorry, it's very loud. Alright, so, this is the, um, Ken and 1920 collab, um, puffer jacket. This, I got it in the color tan sesame, um, and it is the long puffer. Now, there's so many things that I like about this, um, and reasons why I purchased it. Not only is it a black owned business, um, I also just love the design of this and the details and all the things that they thought about that are very specific to black women and our hair, um, but also to anybody who's got curly hair or anybody who wants to take care of the hair. Um, and I have other puffer coats, but I know that this is going to become um, my favorite. So the first thing that I noticed, I haven't actually opened the coat. This is exactly how it came. The first thing that I noticed and I loved when I got this, um, when I opened the bag, was that it came in this resealable um, bag that has the little air, what are these things called? Comment in the comments if you know what this is called. Um, but the little air thing, so that I'm assuming I can actually reseal this and suck all the air out to store it. Cause y'all think this is big right now, the package that came, it's about the size of a bed, you know, a pillow for your bed. Um, it's very, very, very large. Uh, so excuse me while I open it up and we can take a look. All right, let's see. So I'm gonna open the little um, like slide lock on the top and let's pull it out. All right, let me put the bag over here because it's probably gonna make a lot of noise. Okay, so first of all, you can see the color. I love this because online it almost looked sort of off-white. Um, which is not what I wanted because my jackets be getting dirty. I run all around and take the dog for a walk and whatever. So I definitely wanted something that um, wouldn't look dirty right away. Um, so I love that it is this what they call sesame color. Um, all right. And then I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it all on camera. So I'll have to post a picture up here in the video so that you can see what it actually looks like um, on. But this is the coat. I love it. It is super long. Can you even hear me? <laughs> it is super long. Um, so it is a like a full length. Let's see if I hold it up to myself again. I'll pop in a picture, but it is I am five, basically five, eight. Um, it goes to probably right about like uh, a little above ankle length. What is that? Mid calf length? Would that be correct? Um, so it is a super long coat. The biggest detail, well not even the biggest, one of the details that I love about this is that the hood is satin lined. So you may have, might have seen this company, Kin, on Shark Tank. Um, they, uh, I don't remember if, y'all, my battery died. Um, <clears throat> I'm back. What I was trying to say was, I don't know if y'all saw them on Shark Tank or not, um, but this is one of the things that um, made me love and fall in love with this brand 
their hoodies, hats, they have beanies, all kinds of stuff, but are all satin lined. So for ladies like me with natural hair, curly, kinky, coily hair, this is a lifesaver. I have another puffer coat that I love, love, love that I bought from Amazon. It's one of my favorites. However, comma, it has a fleece lining on the inside, um, or not fleece, shearling, right? Lining on the inside. I love it for the warmth but it just sucks all the moisture out of my hair. Um, and I, I hate that for me. So love, love, love this. This was a like the huge, a huge factor to why I bought this coat. Now, this coat is absolutely amazing. Um, it actually turns into a shorter coat. So here again, I'll pop a picture up probably on screen um, so you guys can see me wearing it. But here, if you can see, it actually has a zipper so that this bottom section zips off and becomes a tote bag, y'all. A tote bag. A tote bag. Yes, I said tote bag. Uh, <clears throat> so I can't wait, wait to to actually use this bag, or this bag, this coat. I guess I can call it a bag because it's also a bag. Um, but I can't wait to use it. It is a jacket, a full-size jacket. It is also a tote bag you can remove the hood on it and make it into um sorry you can make remove the sorry i'm so excited and playing with it while i'm talking to you that i lost my train of thought you can remove the hood on it so the hood also zips off if you just want to wear the coat without the hood on it um it's very 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 well made and you can see here that Ooh, I'm not tall enough. You can see here that if I zip off this bottom section, you can see that there's straps on the inside to make this into a tote bag. I am so excited. You definitely, definitely, definitely need to check out this brand. Um, this is a collab, like I said, between uh, 1920 and Kin. Um, this is, I can already tell, going to be like a fave coat of mine. The sleeves also zip off so I can also wear this as a vest y'all like there's so many options so many options I can't even like I can't even and even though I live in California and according to most of my family and friends that do not live on the west coast it is not actually cold here but I'm getting cold y'all so yeah like I am going to be wearing this even when it is 70 degrees so I'm very excited about this um oh it feels so cozy. I love the color. This length also comes in black um, and it is unisex. So it's great for men or women. Oh my gosh. Yes. I'm going to be so warm in this y'all. Y'all just don't even know. Um, and then, like I said, I love that you can unzip, let's unzip a sleeve. I love that you can unzip. I'm probably not supposed to be doing this while wearing the coat. It would probably make more sense to take the coat off. Yeah, let's, let's, I'm too excited. Oh, let's take the coat off. All right, we're gonna unzip this sleeve. There we go. Sleeve is off. Put that there. Oh, that's so cute. Y'all, this is so cute. So you can wear it as a vest and then like I said I can actually unzip. Here I go again. Let's let's take it off and unzip it. Let's just let's just take it apart. Okay, we're gonna unzip the hood. Comes off super easy. And then let me unzip the other sleeve so we can get the full vest look. And like I said, hopefully editing Jamila will remember to pop in a picture maybe from their website of how super cute this is. Or a picture of me. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Love. Oh, I love this. Yeah. So yeah, now I can just wear it as the, like a vest. And it is right now, I'm wearing the whole thing. So you can see that it's like a full long vest and then I can zip off. Let's see where the zipper is. Is it on the inside? On the bottom section. Ah, it's in the back. Oh, I like that because then the 
zipper poles don't get um, in your way in the front of the coat when you're zipping it up as a long coat. Look how easy that is. So the bottom zips right off. Yep, love it. Okay, so now I have a kind of a, I don't know, hip length puffer. Love it. And then I have this piece that I just unzipped from the bottom and you can see there's the straps. So I think, I'm sure that there are instructions if I actually used the QR code that came with it to, I'm sure there's like video instructions on how to do this, but honestly, it's pretty easy to figure out. I love it. Um, so that zips, ah, and then you zip the, so I zipped, zipped the side together. So now it's like a ring. And now I'm zipping together the bottom. Yeah, this is super easy to figure out, y'all. Not complicated at all. I sort of feel like um, Superwoman or something. <laughs> Switching my uh, outfit in a phone booth. Phone booths that we don't have anymore. For those of you who are too young to know what a phone booth is. Um, love it. Okay, so now I've got a tote bag. And the tote bag also can zip closed at the top. So I love that. So if I was out and I wanted to switch it up because I got hot or something like that, I could totally put all of the pieces in here and zip this up. And now I just have a vest, like a short, you know, like I said, about hip length. Well, no, this goes like thigh length, maybe. So thigh length vest and a tote bag and I can totally carry all my stuff in here because the geniuses that designed this at I think 1920 actually also included pockets on the inside so when you're wearing it as a long coat there are interior pockets and actually oh I just found a pocket here love it you can never have too many pockets this is definitely a don't need a purse just wear my coat um, and then if I do end up needing a purse while I'm out or want to change it up, I can totally switch into, switch the bottom of the coat into a tote bag. So yeah, this y'all, y'all need to get you this. Well, I'm over here knocking over things in my office. Y'all, y'all need to get this. Like seriously, I, this was a very good investment. I am very excited. They were having a sale, um, for President's Day when I picked it up, but I don't know if the sale is still going when you will see this video, but uh, support them. Black owned business, very, very, very thoughtfully designed. Even the inside, the pockets of the coat are satin lined, so it feels really, really good. Love this color. Definitely like this sesame color. Um, yeah, y'all gotta get this. And I think I got a free gift. Let's see, oh, it's probably still in the shipping bag. I got a free gift with my purchase, which is a satin, a reversible satin bonnet pillowcase. Now y'all know that we have our loved and blessed pillowcases that I love that are satin. That's another black owned business you should check out, loveandblessed.com. Um, but this came free, so I love this. Again, embroidered. Our loved and blessed pillowcases are also embroidered. And then I love that it is a bonnet and it's reversible. Let's see the inside. So it's champagne on the outside and then like a silver color on the inside. Yep. Nice reversible. And I actually like this because you can just um, slide it over your pillowcase. I'll probably use this. I travel with my loved and blessed um, satin pillowcase because I like to be able to still sleep on a satin pillowcase when I'm traveling. Um, but I do have to put it all the way around, obviously, the, the hotel pillowcases. So I'll probably use this one when I travel um, because then I can just take this instead of taking a few of my loved and blessed ones. I can just take this if I'm going on like, you know, a week long trip and I can use one side and then just flip it and use the other side without having to like wash it um, while I am on the trip because it is double. Yeah, it's double sided. It's double. Um, yeah, it's double sided satin. So it's really nice feels like really good quality um good like the stitching looks really good 
So yeah, I love this that you can just slide it over your pillowcase. The, the dork in me wants to put this on my head. <laughs> yeah, not, not a bonnet for your head, but for your pillowcase. All right, and if I can remember, um, and if I can find a link, I don't know if I'll be able to find a link because I was given this t-shirt that I'm wearing as a gift um, from my goddaughter and my cousin, which I love. Um, so if I can find a link, I'll link it. I think they got it off of Etsy, um, but this is another cute t-shirt, black owned business. All right, so y'all, that is it for today. I just wanted to show you these um, items. I have so many things from black owned businesses that I could have shown, but I just wanted to make a short video just in honor of Black History Month and also to support other businesses and entrepreneurs and, and designers and creators out there like myself um, who, you know, sometimes don't get shown a lot of love or we get a little love and then people kind of forget about us. So I want to help you um, find some new products that you might love and I hope that you will shop these businesses and of course shop Loved and Blessed for all of your gift giving needs or if you need a little bit of encouragement for yourself and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!